Hey guys, what's up? Happy Monday. How's it going? Um, I am. <laughs> if I look like I'm standing funny, and I'm just cracking up at myself because I don't know what I did to my neck, and I, I, I almost didn't want to share it because I thought after doing the whole. Remember how I, I had hurt this shoulder when I did either you know upright rows or whatever. Um, I don't know if, it, if this is from my workout when I did that Athletica workout with um, Laria. I act like she was here. Yeah, we were just hanging out in my place, you know, Laria. Uh, I hope that's how I say her name. Ilaria, that's how she says it. I say it like Ilaria. Um, I don't know if I did it in that workout or if I slept funny. I feel like this hurts way too much for me to have just slept on it funny, but it's like, oh. Like it's all up the back of my neck and right here, like right there on that thing. And um, I just woke up, was it Sunday morning? Yeah, yesterday. I woke up Sunday morning and I was like, OMG, what's going on? It, like I couldn't do yoga yesterday. I was like, there's no way. Um, and sleeping last night was sure uh, quite a funny challenge because I kept waking up going, you know, like you know it's there. It's kind of like when you get a leg cramp in the middle of the night and you're like, oh, I know I have to move it, but I know it's gonna hurt. That's kind of how it is. And so now, hold on. Okay, so, I mean, the pain's still there, but I was literally like, I, of course I have my workout clothes on, I have my jacket on because it's cold, you guys, in here. Yeah, Chicago is getting down to 35 degrees later this week. So there's that. Um, but anyway, um, I was trying to decide like, what should I do for my workout today? I'm gonna have to think about that later. And today is gonna have to be sadly a, um, a late workout day because that's just the way my day is going. It's the Monday after South by Southwest. Um, it's catch up day and I have like 17 conference calls scheduled. So, good times. Um, but anyway, I have a lot to tell you guys. Um, aside from the whole weird, very odd, really, hold on. Like I'm scared, I'm scared to put my head all the way down. That, I mean, that really hurts. It hurts. It doesn't hurt as much to the side, but I have to, you know what I was thinking I did it? If I did it when I did my that workout, it was a new workout, Athletica. I don't think I did, she does a lot of like kettlebell type moves where you're you're standing and you know you have the, um, you have the kettlebell, down, not the kettlebell, the weights, and you're doing a lot of swings. I don't think I, I know correct kettlebell form for that, but there was this one move where she takes, you take your weight, and it was, a, I think, a 12 or 15 pound weight, and you're doing almost like a side wood chopper thing, where you go like this. I'm gonna do it slow, in case I, this is how I did it. And you're kind of going like that, and all I can think of is that maybe I, like, this is all about people, I'm telling you. Learn correct form. Because let me tell you, this whole, when I did the shoulder thing, when that was hurting me for like, it happened in Vegas, right? It's like a movie. Um, having this shoulder be really sore for the better part of almost, I'd say, six to eight weeks um, really sucks, and it shows you why form is so important. I'm actually getting a little bit okay. Um, but anyway, when I'm sitting here going, like my first thought when my neck hurt, and, and to think that maybe I did it when I worked out, was if I actually have to deal with this for like eight weeks, I will blow my head off. That's all I'm gonna say. So, anyway, the other thing I wanted to show you was, where did I cut this out of? This is out of what magazine? Remember how I told you guys, sometimes I can tend to be a little boring with what I eat at home? And now that I'm being, oh, this was out of uh, Whole Living magazine. But I cut this out because this is really awesome. I, I've always tended to be somebody when I'm making food for myself at home. You know, I live alone, so it's just me. I, I tend to eat the same thing for lunch every day or the same thing for dinner and it, sometimes that's when you know you can get really bored. Um, there's plenty of good healthy food that's reasonably, you know, again, you can reasonably portion anything. But what I'm looking at is, is trying to, you know, challenge myself to make new recipes but then also when I see little things like this, which was, this was, it says fiber rich bread, brain boosting protein, heart healthy crunch and a I don't know what that word is. Um, transform a humble sandwich into a multi-platform meal. So they have all these different way, different kinds of sandwiches and toppings because you guys, that's, and, and I'm like, like this with salads where I, I will take lettuce and tomato and like, what else do I put on it? A salad's always great at a restaurant, but when I try to make a salad here, it sucks. So stuff like this, look, 
I'm gonna, I'll post some of these ideas, but I'm sure you could probably find it at wholeliving.com. I believe Whole Living is Martha Stewart's magazine. Breakfasty type things. You know, these are things I wouldn't think of, but they're yummy and you know, you do the correct portion size and got just a whole slew of new exciting ideas. Anyway, what time is it? 5.17? Oh, that kind of hurt a little bit. Um, I don't have a lot of time, but anyway, I will shoot more videos later. Um, but thank you guys so much. So many of you have written me, and, and that's why when I was writing that post that was almost as long as War and Peace, um, about you know letting go and, and everything that I'm kind of like learning and feeling really good about, finally, um, so many of you people wrote me, and I was kind of surprised how many guys wrote me, where they were either talking about you know themselves or um, their wives going through something similar and whatever. So I just want to say that I, first of all, thank you because so many of you wrote such nice emails, um, and then I feel good about the fact that I'm kind of sharing what I'm able to learn because I know that so many of you are either going through the same thing, have gone through the same thing, or whatever. Um, and so a lot of what I'm kind of figuring out I know is gonna be helpful to you guys because um, quite simply when I look back at all of my, when I started working out, I started working out with like Billy Blank's Tybo back in, I'm trying to think of what year it was. This is when it was coming out on VHS if that tells you anything. That's when I really started um, working out after college. So that was like, <sighs> I'd have to look it up. It's been at least 10 years. Um, so that's when I really started working out. But you know, that's when I did it and I enjoyed it. And when you're happy in your life and you're happy in, in general and you're not on this, what I kind of labeled this psychotic diet mindset, when, you, when, you're, when you're enjoying everything and you're being reasonable and you're treating yourself good, you're gonna have good results and you're gonna be happy about it. And that's really where I've always been. Have I ever felt like I don't think I've ever felt like, and probably, let's be realistic, I don't know that I'll ever feel like I'm gonna wake up and go, my body's exactly the way I want it, no room for improvement. And I really think that we can always be that way without being psycho. We can always say that there's room for improvement, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. But I definitely, in the past, have, it's been more simple for me to just work out regularly. I loved it, I enjoyed it. I wasn't punishing myself, so I didn't have this, unconscious looking at working out like oh, what do I have to do today what what is it that I'm not going to be able to do that's not enough you see what I'm saying like it was so much a part of my life because it was a pleasurable part of my day it wasn't punishment it wasn't something that I was guilting myself into doing and that's what I'm trying to get back to because I'm able to look at like the past two years you know mostly it's kind of like this, this really, I don't want to tie it to like my divorce, but it really is, it's like the past two years. You know, the skin condition, um, this perimenopause coming on really early in my life, and just then losing my job for 14 months. I mean, just a whole lot of stuff in two years, and then me just kind of allowing it to overwhelm me. And I, I don't want to live that way anymore. And when I finally realized like, wow, this is how I've been. This is how messed up my thinking's been. This is how, you know, a big part of me was unhappy. And that's why you can't have real success and be really happy in your, you know, your fitness life if, if it's all about punishment. And if it's, if your diet is all about punishment and guilt and, and denial, and it's just like, it's almost like getting up every day and going, okay, I have to go in and get spanked. I have to go in and get whipped. I mean, are you going to like be excited about that? No, what, and, and if that doesn't get you anywhere, seriously. So there's so much that I'm kind of figuring out. These books are really helping me. I finally feel really good about everything. I finally feel like, okay, I know what needs to be different. I know what I need to let go of, and I am. It's not just that I'm talking about it, because I've talked about some of this stuff before, but I haven't done it because it wasn't the right time for me. So anyway, I'm just really glad that after I wrote that really long ass post, <laughs> that I knew that it was for a reason because so many of you wrote back to me. But on that note, I do have to go because I've got a call in 10 minutes. I've got to fix my lunch and um, I'll work out tonight and share my workout with you. and. We'll be posting some enjoyment for you, and uh, that's it. So have a great Monday. And uh, if you guys have any hints, I guess I should just keep icing my neck. Um, but if you can make it go away, that would be much appreciated. Let me know. If there's a pill I can take, let me know. Talk to you guys later.